Come on, Joy, crit. Please, crit. Crit. With Boothill and Firefly being the current and upcoming characters, the MOC buff is a break effect focus. This coincidentally is going to be buffing our favorite four star DPS, Jui. So, I built a zero cycle team comp for her that is going to take full advantage of her ability to ignore weaknesses. Now, since Jui's ult is the only thing that is going to be doing that, we're using Ting Yun, which is going to be giving her a consistent two turn ult due to the energy gain. This is also going to be giving us a 100% uptime on the the 30% crit rate that we can get from Misha's Light Cone. Now, Ron May giving an extra 50% weakness break efficiency is going to make it so every time we ult with Jui, instead of getting four stacks, we're actually going to be getting six stacks for her talent, resulting in an instant talent follow up proc every time we use an ult. Now, Robin, action advancing the entire team is going to make sure that Ting Yun can get multiple ults up and the same thing for Jui as well. So, before we hop into the run, hit that subscribe button. Let's see what Jui can accomplish an MOC 12. I always get happy whenever I see a single target boss because that means that Shui can do her thing. Even though Argenti is going to be spawning those swords, we can actually interrupt him in the middle and then get all of the follow-ups from Shui to land on him before they spawn, which is wonderful. So, right here, we're going to boost up Shui, but kind of just build up skill points and energy while also making sure that Trotter is at half toughness. And at the same time, we're also building up a ton of stacks for Shui's follow-up. Now we get the damage boost and the concerto, so now we can start actually dealing the damage. First, Ting Yun is going to break the Trotter, giving us an extra 15% attack and 30% break effect to the whole team. And then we apply Benediction. That way, we can keep the speed boost that we can get from Ting Yun's skill. That's why we just basic the first two times. Now here, we do need Zhui to be at 5 out of 6. Ideally, we would actually skill and gain more energy for Ron Mei. However, this is fine. Beautiful. So at this point, we just want Robin and Ron May to kind of take the majority of the pain. Great. Now this is the sixth stack for Joy's follow-up, which is what we need to then have Joy kill. And now we're at max energy for both Ting Yun and Joy, and Ron May didn't take her turn to lose the buff. So at zero action value, we send the spear. Okay, is so it? Okay, follow-up distribution. We would prefer most of them to land on Argenti. And now, Zhui is back up at half energy. We're going to break the Trotter with Ting Yun. That way, we can get another energy with her, or turn, build up more energy for her next ult. And then, we can also have some more buffs for Zhui's attack. We could have also had Zhui kill the Trotter. However, it's a little more difficult at that point, because then sometimes the Robin damage will kill. And if we just instantly break with Ting Yun, then we don't have to worry about that. So at this point, we can either go for a basic and get another stack for Shui's skill, or we could skill and then get our ult up. This is what we're going to do, because we want to wait for Ting Yun until Argenti moves, and that's going to give us energy, which means we actually don't need to skill. So right here, we're going to wait, interrupt with Shui. So we've got the ult up. Ideally, Ron Maze would have been up too, but it's fine. Bang. Wonderful. So at this point, now that Argenti has refreshed, we can then action advance ourselves, giving more energy to Zhui once again. Argenti is at the end of the action value, so we don't have to worry about any more attacks from this point on. We just need to strategize and make sure that our stacks for Zhui are optimal so we can get another two follow-up procs. Also, we're going to target this barrier, making sure that it cannot give the shield to Argenti, pretty much erasing one of our instances of damage. Not that it would have mattered too much, because the damage we deal outside of Robin's Concerto is extremely minimal. Okay, 2%. Actually, yeah. Yeah, 2% was, was nothing. So at this point, 5 out of 6, we are going to apply Benediction, just make sure we get that attack boost. We'll have Ron May get the 6th stack for the follow-up, letting Joy's ult get the final 6 stacks. Missed Argenti every single time, but honestly that's fine, because that's just now less targets for our final follow-up proc. One enemy, Joy, this is your territory. 294% break effect. 457% damage boost. 
Come on, Shui. Bang. And that was the run. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And make sure you guys are subscribed and join the Discord. Really quick for the builds. Zhui was a 134 two-piece break, two-piece quantum. Tingyun, dance, dance, dance. E1, S1, Ron May on Von Wack. E2, S1, Robin. Uh, super fast just for the zero cycle tech. That's all we got for this video. Thanks for watching. Once again, adios.